Hey, welcome to Grow, and we hope you're having a great day. Have you ever heard anybody say this to you before? As you're talking about a Bible verse or a Bible story, and they say, well, that's just your interpretation, and you can interpret it any way you want. If you've ever thought that, said that, or heard that, I can tell you this. There's only one interpretation for the scripture. There may be several different applications, but rightly dividing the word of truth is extremely important and knowing what the interpretation says. Second Timothy, Paul is talking to a young pastor and he gives him some advice. And it's not just advice for pastors, which is very important, but advice for everyone. He said to study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Now, let me explain something. He said to study, to labor. You know, oftentimes we think that if we just open up the Bible, we read a few verses that, you know what, man, I, that I got my Bible in for today. Well, there is a lot of work in studying the scriptures and breaking them down, understanding what the interpretation is, making sure that the things that you've been taught in the past are really the correct way. One pastor told me he was 32 years old and he said that he was very upset some of the things that he had been taught all of his life and found out that they were not true. He called one of his professors at Piedmont Bible College and said this. He said, I have been taught wrong. And this is what the professor said. He said, I thought you had a Bible too. He said it, he said he proved in point. Now, when this passage is talking about study to show thyself approved, he's talking about working diligently, laboring in the scriptures. Now, he says to show thyself approved. This is a coin. Now, it's a quarter. Now, we base a quarter upon the size of it because of what it has stamped on it. But in the New Testament days, a coin would be decided by its weight. So what they would do, they would heat metal down and they would pour it into a mold. And then they would, because of the rough edges, they would shave the edges of the coin. Now, if you're basing your coin upon weight and you start shaving down the coins, some of these makers would shave down more is that that way they could have more metal for the next one and more metal for the next one. And they would shave down real close all of this metal where it wasn't actually the weight of the coin that was supposed to be. Now, now you had honest men and women of integrity that would refuse to take coins that were whittled down. In fact, it got to be so bad in Athens that in one century, the, the government made 80 laws to protect the coins from being whittled down. As I said, there were men and women in Athens that said, I'm not receiving. There was uh, those that were receiving for their pottery and their clothing and all this. And, they, and somebody would try to pay with one of these coins and they would say, absolutely not. I'm not taking this money. It's not proper. It's not the proper amount. It's not the proper weight. I'm not receiving it. And so they were called approved or dokimos. This is what the word means. Study to show thyself approved, dokimos. It's somebody that stands approved, that has integrity. And he says, rightly dividing the word of truth. Now, who do we stand approved before? Man? Well, yes, but that's not what this verse says. It says to stand before God, a workman needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth. The word of God is known as a sword and the sword is going to cut straight and the sword is going to cut sharp and the sword is only going to cut one direction and the direction of rightly dividing the word of truth. As you get into the word of God and you begin to study, know this, that it's a lot of labor. It's a lot of work. It's not about how much you can get done. It's not about the quantity, but it's about the quality of your study. Turn into a dokimos, an approved servant of God, rightly dividing the word of truth. God bless you. I hope you have a good Monday.